Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are doing well today. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So, Pisces, what I need for you to do right now is I need for you to give me all that fun, loving, exuberant, beautiful energy that you got. You can do that by clicking that like button. You can comment. You can share. You can subscribe. You can just do all those beautiful, magical, lovely things that you do to me so well here at Talia's Tarot. So, I'm going to slap the holy water down and I'm going to pet the bailiff's tail. Mm-hmm. He's like, Mama, why do you got the window open? It's cold. Oh, he's a cold boy. Yeah. With his cute little peas. That's a good boy. So, you know what time it is, baby doll. Mm -hmm. Tarot is now in session. The most honorable judge, T. T. Dawn, presiding. You can all do whatever you want. So, we're going to check in on that energy, that person that you're dealing with, or whatever energy might be approaching you, my beautiful loves. Whatever the case is, we're going to get it, we're going to hit it, and we're going to quit it together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Show me the energy of the person my be Okay, right on, right off the bat. Show me the energy of the person my be beautiful. Okay. Uh, these cards are shuffled. That's seven and eight of pentacles. If the nine of pentacles comes out, I'm leaving the reading. <laughs> it didn't. Okay, but a lot of cards came out. Oh boy, what do we got here? Okay. Let me move over my stuff. Let me move my stuff over here for you guys. Oh, boy, this is a little messy here, isn't it? It's kind of a little crazy. Okay, down on the table as I've established. established. We've got the Seven of Pentacles. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. We've got the Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess, the Knight of Swords. The overall energy for the reading here is the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, so somebody's showing up here. Okay, uh, Seven of Pentacles. This is all about reflecting and reviewing here. Okay. Eight of Pentacles is about being skilled at what you're doing, okay? Getting towards your, you know, retirement, to, towards your emancipation, your Nine Pentacles here, okay? So, and it's also about, you know, card of, you know, maybe working together. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, this is all about good timing, bad timing. The Wheel of Fortune doesn't ever stop for anybody. So, if you jump on the Wheel of Fortune at the wrong time, it will eject your butt off, okay? The High Priestess down here on the table, okay? This is all about intuition, knowledge, and secrets here. Knight of Swords. So, there's an obstacle here. Oh, my God. Well, let me pull out my sword here. And I think we need to talk here right away. What do we need to talk to here? High Priestess. Let's see why she's here. High Priestess, why is she here? High Priestess, why are you here? High Priestess, why are you here? Sure. Okay. Let's go one more here with the High Priestess of the Ten Wands. Sure. Okay. Okay. This person here, okay, it's like secretly they're wanting to take the leap here, okay? And not telling you this is burdening this person, okay? So, it's like, it's a new energy. It's like, they don't know you very well, but they're ready to throw caution to the wind here, okay? To be able to explore something here with you. And they have not told you this, okay? So, this is somebody that you know here that has not told you this yet here. Okay, all right. Well, I can understand that. So, maybe they're just kind of checking you out right now. They're like, boy, that Pisces is looking like a freaking snack. Pisces is looking like a jelly roll, and I love jelly rolls. Okay, so somebody's checking you out right now. Oh boy, it's cuffing season, so that's probably why. <laughs> Give me some jelly rolls here, and let's crawl into blankets here and snuggle all night long, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink, four, four, four on the clock as I say that. Okay. So, what's going on with the Wheel of Fortune here? Wheel of Fortune, why is the wheel here? Why is this Wheel of Fortune here in Pisces person's energy? Show me the wheel and why is it here? 
the wheel. Why is it here? Show me the wheel and why is it here? Show me the wheel of fortune and why is it here? Sure. Thank you. Wheel of fortune here. Okay. So it's like an uncertainty here. Okay. There's an uncertainty here about the timing. So why are they so uncertain here about the timing? Why is this person so uncertain about the timing? Why is this person so uncertain about the timing? Why is this person? Because, okay. They're, they're trying to see things from a different light here. Okay. They're trying to figure it out. So it's like, it's like, uh, this person's like, I don't know if this is a good timing. I just need to wait here and kind of just watch Pisces and kind of get a feel here. Okay. So somebody here has got their feelers out for you, Pisces. Okay. I don't know who. All right. It could be anybody. It could be your boss. It could be the person down the road that walks their dog every day and you walk your dog and they check you out here and you guys have encountered one another and your dogs have sniffed booty holes and they like the way your dogs sniff booty holes and, you know, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the court, what the hell are you talking about? Just keep reading the damn tarot. Oh my God. I'm trying to give analogies here is what I'm trying to do, okay? So this is could be anybody, okay? I don't know who, okay? You're probably going to know who's sniffing your dog's butthole. Because <laughs> it ain't me. <laughs> oh, the court, you're disgusting. Oh, my God. Why is she even here? Sometimes I wonder. I just do. I wonder. Okay. So this is a reviewing energy, correct? Yes. Okay. So, what is this person reviewing and reflecting upon? Okay. I'm like, yeah. You know, I kind of think I want a relationship here. Mm-hmm. So, why are they feeling like they want a relationship with Pisces? Why are they feeling like they want a relationship with Pisces? Why? Because they feel like you're a very balanced human being. Six of pentacles. Now we got six, seven, eight pentacles. That's so funny. Nine pentacles. Didn't have to leave the reading, so that's probably a good thing. So they feel like you're a balanced person here, okay? And they like that about you here. Okay. All right. So let's talk to the eight of pentacles here. Eight of pentacles. What's going on here? Eight of pentacles. Okay, I'm going to get one more on the Eight of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles, please. Okay. So, this person is looking for love in all the wrong places. They've been looking for love in all the wrong places, okay? And now they're looking at love with you, okay? Because you're the right place. So, this person feels like you're... A very balanced individual. You're very talented. You are attractive. No matter who you are or what size you are. Even if you're in this big old yellow gown here. And uh, got a scarf around your hit crown. Which is really weird. I mean, at the end of the day, this person here feels like you are the divine feminine here. And they feel very attracted to you here. And because they have been looking in all the wrong places for love, well, as soon as they see something good, they know a good thing when they see it. Because this person has seen many, many bad things here when it comes to love here. And this person has been neglected. They've been abused here, misused, and mistreated here when it comes to love. Okay. So this is good energy here. Okay. I like this. Um, I might talk to this person's perspective here with this hangman here. So what are they thinking about Pisces under this hangman energy? What are they thinking about Pisces under this hangman energy? What are they thinking about Pisces? Oh, they're thinking that they have, they've got the hots for you. They've got the hots for you. Oh boy. <laughs> I really wish I could say what I want to say right here, right now and point it out, but I am not going to. Uh, because I just can't, okay? <laughs> I wish I could. Uh, YouTube takes away my fun. If the judge doesn't do it, YouTube will. <laughs> so, basically, right now, this person, they're like, man, Pisces is really attractive. You're really, really attractive. 
Doesn't matter if you're wearing a scarf over your crown, which makes no sense. They find to be that irresistible, okay? They want to take off your scarf, okay? <laughs> uh, okay, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords usually removes blockages, removes obstacles here to clear the path to let the troops come through here and do the rest of the killing, okay? This could also be a message here. <clears throat> so we're going to just talk and see what's going on here. Why is the Knight of Swords down here on the table? Knight of Swords down here on the table. Why are you here? Okay. Okay. Knight of Swords with a star here. Okay. What is this Knight of Swords with a star? Let me go one more before I talk. Knight of Swords with a star, please. Knight of Swords with a star. Sure. Thanks. Okay. So, this person is hoping to send you a message to get your attention. Okay? So, you got somebody here that's into you, Pisces. Very much so. And I'm not getting any past person energy. I'm getting a complete new person energy here. Okay? I don't have any, nothing past here. Which is good. Thank God. Okay. So, you got somebody here who thinks you're very attractive with your scarf around your crown here and... They think you're a very balanced human being, very beautiful here. They've been torn and tattered when it comes to relationships. But as soon as they've seen you, something has changed their mind. And boy, are they very... And I mean, you probably... Do, I'm not saying you don't know this person because you do. It's not like you, you know, no, no, them though, okay? So it's somebody that, you know, you might run into here at the grocery store, the grocery guy every time... Or the Walgreens guy, and he's like, oh, hi, Pisces. How are you? My day is so much more better now that I've seen the most beautiful human being in the world. And you're like, huh? And they're like, well, it's you, of course. Give me a hug. And you're just like, oh, yeah, I'll give you a hug. And then, But this person's really into you. Like, they're actually hitting on you, okay? So I'm going to clear it all with the White Sage, get the final messages, and see what else this person wants to tell you before I shut her down. Shut her down, take her home. Yeah! Shut her down, baby. Okay. We got the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay. So this person is waiting for the right time to approach you here. They might be asking you out for Christmas dinner, for all I know. This person thinks they're already in love. I'm in love. I threw that out backwards, yes. I, I do what I want. We've got the justice down here. So this person is getting ready to make a heart overhead decision. Beautiful energy. I like this for you, my beautiful Pisces. So, this has been your reading. Thank you for joining me on another episode of As the Fish Swims. These are the tales of your fins. Tarot's adjourned. <laughs>